G'day folks, thanks very much for joining me. I'm Rex Hunt. I'm standing on a little bit of sand called Rex's K in the middle of the Arafura Sea off Cape Don, which is part of the Coburg Peninsula in Northern Australia. And I can tell you now folks, I've been here before and a lot of you would have seen the action. But if you reckon that was action, well, I think you better take a look at this folks. <laughs> Tonight, Steve Starling and I go in search of one of the majestic wonders of the sea, the hammerhead shark. And the terrible twins are at it again as Steve joins the human broom bushy in the Solomon Islands for some popper fishing. Quite amazing, really. The birds are the eyes of the sea. And if you look at these seabirds, you get an indication of what's going on. The last day or two, there've been really dead periods where the birds have just been sitting like white statues on the rocks around Cape Don here in Northern Australia. This morning, the birds are hovering, the fish are starting to jump. I've got a good feeling there might be a good day ahead, folks. Well, that was a nice little fish that Lynn got. A lot of the folk, if you take a lot of notice of the show, you'll see she just had a little light spinning outfit. I've got a heavier spinning outfit. Lynn's using four kilo and having an absolute ball, and that's great for kids and mums and dads who are just starting off, particularly, you know, if they're a little bit small or frail in the strength area. But for the guys who want to really get into a bit of sport fishing, a six kilo outfit like I've got can handle anything from these small GTs right up to the big species of pelagics that inhabit these magnificent northern waters. We're getting this sort of bait here now because we're going to need plenty of chopped up bait later on. As this tide gets down, we're going to be burling up on that particular end of Rex's K. And the old grunting noise of that Trevally says he's not over happy. So I'll put him over here in our uh, container. And I tell you what, as I said before, I reckon it might happen today. Hit him up, move him out. <whistles> rolling, 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 keep moving, moving, moving. Though they're disapproving, keep them doggies moving right. <laughs> I tell you what, folks, they're just like a herd of cattle or a flock of sheep. These three little Trevally have been trapped here by a very, very high tide. The highest of the actual 28 day cycle here in the top end. And what they're doing, they're sticking together because there's safety in numbers. Up there, it's like the old Western movie. The buzzards are starting to circle and they haven't got good vibes at all. But they'll stick together and they'll fight till the end. Hoo, 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 boom, 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 boom. Absolutely fantastic nature, isn't it? For a first run. <laughs> he really went, didn't he? Did he look at you or did he look at me? <laughs> hey? 
Did you get a look at him? I did. He's a big shark. I'm going by the fin, maybe a hammerhead, but I wouldn't put money on it yet. Well, those followers of our show would remember our first two sorties here. One with Steve, four and a half years ago, almost to the day, when I hit a big barracuda on the nose with a rattling spot, and we saw the mother of all sharks out there, and that had a big dorsal fin, a big hammer, wasn't it? Mm. <sighs> Boy, he's got some line out. He has got some line out. Folks, while we're here, it's just over here we got Noel and Jackie and Mike, who are my crew, to get the underwater camera going. The boys here, Roscoe and Johnny, keep on feeding little bits of bait down the trail. Bushy and Buffalo over in the mangroves catching trevally, long toms, barracuda. As quick as we can get them here, set up a trail. Before the tide turned, all the guts and muck behind us just sort of stayed in the one area. And then Stephen said, look, this tide's turned. Just behind there where Noel's going to pan around and see those little waves coming in. That's where some sort of wash, Stephen, and that's a secret, wasn't it, to get it down the trail? The tide finally started to run and it took all that burly that had accumulated there in the eddy and washed it out there and instantly it was smorgasbord time. Well, what we're doing, I'm just going forward here and then what I can do is lay back on the shark. There's a lot of stretch in this monofilament. A lot of you people now using fire line and spider wire and that new fang dangled stuff from the States and also from Australia. But this got a lot of stretching at this line. Now this is a serious big shark. This is better than going to the gym, being a macho man. Now do you think you're getting him back in Rex yeah, or is he just get... swimming this way for a look? Oh he's just swimming, <laughs> but look mate, I can tell you now, Stephen and the folks right around the globe, I ain't got him mate, he's got us. And I tell you what, World Championship Wrestling might be the go on pay TV in Australia here at the moment, but you might see World Tag Team Fishing here because I don't know how long, I tell you what, I'm approaching half a century, that's my age, he's approaching half a century in stone. <laughs> no, I just didn't mean that, mate, I was only that's being right, serious. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is great stuff. This is wild, I notice the birds now, we've moved away up there, have started to come in and my wife Lynn was just collecting some seashells because she knows I like seashells, shells, shells, because she sells seashells by the seashore and she's pointed out some lovely nests up there. So if we actually survive this without having a heart attack or a stroke, we might go up. But did you notice those birds have come in and they're now very territorial about their nest? Yeah. I thought you'd like that. Amazing, Just I can't believe the enthusiasm by that man. All he thinks about is fish. He was, thinks fishing 24 hours a day. I was thinking we might be able to make an omelette with the eggs, actually. Yeah, exactly. And that'll be it, folks. The human incinerator thinking about his comic cuts. I tell you what, take him to the opera and he eats all the popcorn. Unbelievable. Here, look at this! Oh, look at the size of that shark. Got Rowdy Yates here from Rawhide. Look at that. You bring him in, I'll rope him for you, Rex. Look at him up there. Look at oh, him. Oh, Look gee. at the size of him, It's a Rex. hammer, isn't it? He's a big hammer. Big hammer. He's going to take off in a minute, Rex. He's not ready for us yet, I don't think. Look at that shark. He's going to go, Rex. <laughs> you idiot. I didn't like the way he looked at me. <laughs> you idiot. I think I speak to 20 million people. You idiot. <laughs> Kids, you don't do this in the bath. He's a beautiful shark, isn't he? Isn't he lovely? He's looking at us, Rex. Keep him coming. That's beautiful, Rex. That's beautiful.
You idiot! You absolute idiot! <laughs> oh, you idiot! <laughs> I got him, Rex! <laughs> I got him! <laughs> you fool! I got him, Rex! Come on down! <laughs> Come on down! Hold on to this. Just watch his jaws. I got his tail. Easy. Cut the wire and we'll send him on his way. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. How are you going there, Stephen? Yeah, We're right. cutters. See if you can cut through that wire. Oh, gee whiz, you beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh. Can you get through it, mate? No, I can't. Ah, uh, here, these might do it better. Uh, just a bit cautious of those teeth. I did it. Oh, beautiful. Well, there you are, folks. That's nature at its very, very best. You've got the eyes sticking out of his noggin here. <laughs> but this magnificent dorsal fin, I tell you what, mate, don't do that with any kind of, kind of sharks, folks. <laughs> I tell you what, water, water. Isn't he just sensational? Let's get him back in the water. Watch yourself, Rex. He's ready to go. He's still caught up in that, that's it. On your way, mate, now, on your way. This way. Come on, mate. Off you go. Off you go, pal. Off you go, come on. Come on, mate, no, this way. You come with me. I'll show you the way. I'll lead you to the promised land. Part the sea. And yibbity yibbity, mate. You get on with it. Come on. You get on with it. Off you go, mate. You're free. You're free. He's all right. You're free, son. Look at that. Let's put it there. <laughs> Adelaide have won the grand final. Brisbane have rung the rugby. I'll tell you what, folks. What do you think about that? We won the shark wrestling, I think, mate. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing for sure is that Lynn will be booking me in for early morning sessions at the gym. This is Rex Hunt Fishing Adventures. Why did they want to call it adventure? <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs>